Hey, what you got there? A caterpillar. A caterpillar? You must be catching more bugs. I am. Hey, I'm Shane Harris with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, and this is my son. Clay Harris. He, we, he's been catching bugs again, which means it's time for another 4-H bug show. We've got 10 more bugs for you we'd like to show you right now. We start the bug show with a, probably the most important insect in the world, and that is the honeybee. Honeybees are super important pollinators for flowers, fruits, and vegetables. This means they help other plants grow. Bees transfer pollen from male and female parts, allowing plants to grow seeds and fruit. During a single collection trip, a honeybee will visit anywhere from 50 to 100 flowers. That's where the saying came, comes from, busy as a bee. Honeybees must gather nectar from 2 million flowers to make one pound of honey. The honeybee is the only insect that produces food eaten by man. That's important because approximately one-third of the food we eat is the result of honeybee pollination. Look closely. Amongst all that green grass, you'll see a green grasshopper. This is the green striped grasshopper. It's one of the earliest grasshoppers to come out in the spring. What's he doing? Well, he's eating, of course. He likes to eat grass. Grasshoppers are herbivorous, meaning they eat plants and other types of vegetation. Grasshoppers are ground-dwelling insects with the ability to jump long distance to evade threats. That's what they're known for, is their ability to jump. A large grasshopper can jump between 10 to 20 times its total body length without the aid of its wings. With the aid of its wings, it can go up to about 8 miles per hour. Throughout the world, there's about 11,000 known species of grasshoppers. That's a lot. Hey buddy, where are you going? Here's a very familiar bug during the spring. This is the Eastern Tent Caterpillar. If you like catching bugs, then this needs to be the first on your list. Go get that jar and catch this rascal. He may look mean, but he is basically harmless. He's fuzzy, but he's not dangerous. It's very common to see these eastern tent caterpillars wandering around. Wondering what they're looking for. They're looking for something to eat? Looking for their mommy? Believe it or not, these little guys actually turn into a moth. They just recently hatched out from a silking nest in a tree. These insects hatch out from an egg mass and they stay together and then begin to spin a silken tent in the crotch of a tree. And they're now wandering around, crawling over plants, walkways, roads, porches, anywhere, just looking for something to eat. Shh, the babies are asleep. They've eaten and now it's time for their nap. The chirp, chirp, chirp that you hear at night is the sound of a cricket, probably from this guy, the field cricket. Adult field crickets are black and brown in color and are between one half and one inch long. Their hind legs are very enlarged and are used by the cricket for powerful and rapid jumping. Field crickets can be found in many different habitats, especially fields, lawns, forest edges, caves, even in damp basements. Field crickets are also omnivorous. They eat a wide variety of things, including organic matter, fresh plant material, small fruits, and seeds. Crickets feed at night and spend most of the daylight hours in warm, dark areas that offer protection. So the next time you hear that cricket chirping sound at night, you'll know it's the field cricket. You probably recognize this red paper wasp, they're best known for their paper nest, which look like round, upside down paper combs. Paper wasps construct their nest out of dead wood and plant materials. They mix these materials with saliva to create a water resistant nest. Paper wasp nests are usually gray or brown depending on the materials they use. Most paper wasps are omnivores, feeding on both nectar and insects. Common prey is beetle larvae, flies, and caterpillars. This single fertilized queen is responsible for starting 
a new paper wasp nest. Once her first brood matures, they will expand the nest as needed. This brood becomes workers that forage for food and care for new larvae as the colony grows. Paper wasps can be very aggressive if threatened and will defend their nest by stinging an intruder repeatedly. So you want to leave these guys alone. But paper wasps are considered good insects because they hunt and eat insects that are common pests in our garden.